Getting lame as fuck. That nigga sound racist as fuck. This nigga talking about baby mamas. Nigga, I ain't got no kids, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about, stupid ass boy? Goofy ass nigga. Yes, I said the WWE fake. That shit fake, lame ass nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? Shout out to Skender227 with the bitch. What's poppin'? Bitch ass nigga, you took that shit all out of, you blew that shit all out of, out of context. And you, you up here tweeting all these racist ass tweets at me, nigga, talking about my baby mamas and talking about I'm being irrelevant and talking about bitch ass nigga, you don't listen to the young niggas, you old as fuck. You don't know what's popping. This nigga talking about, I listen to hip hop, but you don't listen to the young niggas, nigga, you don't know what's popping, nigga, what is you talking about, nigga? I'll come to the WWE and smack the shit out you, but that shit not real, nigga, I'll go to jail for that shit, that shit illegal, nigga, if I, slap, if I smack you, I'm gonna catch a charge. If I come to the WWE and we fight, it's gonna be fake. Pussy ass nigga, set that shit up in the UFC or set it up on the streets or set up a celebrity match where I can really beat your ass for real and don't get in trouble for it. Stupid ass nigga, I've been to jail before. I ain't going back to jail for your dumb ass nigga. I come and smack. If I pull up on you right now and smack the shit out you, I'm going to jail nigga. I'm going to catch a charge. If I come to the WWE and we fight, it's going to be fake. It's going to be pre scripted, pre recorded, pre set up who the winner going to be. So nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga. Hello everybody, my name is Rodolfo Gardenas. Yes, I do remember that, so you don't have to. I will talk about this in a different video at a different time, but today, this is my way for saying thank you for standing up to the wrestling fans. So, it's like in a way for saying thank you for sticking out your neck for the wrestling fans. Take my money! And, um, and I guess we already know what's coming, so let's get into the context. Okay, and here I am behind the camera, and welcome to another WWE action figure unboxing. So, I'm gonna lift up this bag and see who I got this time. Ready? The grand finale. One, two, three. <gasps> oh my god! It's Randy Orton. Hey. The Viper. The Legend Killer. The Apex Predator. What else can we say? It's Randy Orton. Okay, so... Um, if you guys uh, haven't heard about it, but Soldier Boy, the rapper Soldier Boy, uh, has been going on and off with Randy Orton. And uh, Soldier Boy ended up calling wrestling fake, and so Randy Orton is the only motherfucker to stand to stand up for. Excuse me, uh, for standing up for the wrestling fans for saying that it's not fake. That if he wants to, he can come to our world and um, and try to kick some ass. But then Soldier Boy runs runs his mouth uh, for saying that if he comes to the WWE, it's gonna be fake. No, no, he, and then he would believe he would go in trouble. He would get in trouble for that, but here's my way for saying thank you, Randy Orton, for standing up to the wrestling fans because we haven't even had somebody who's standing up for the wrestling business since 1980, or since 1985 with Dr. D. David Schultz. Um, if you guys want to, then uh, I'll talk about it in a different video in a different time, but for now, let's focus on the action figure. Look, see, it's, though this is the Elite Collection, like the other ones, Randy Orton. I kind of like this Randy Orton, ver this version of Randy Orton better because, as you can see, uh, there's a picture of Randy Orton of 2011. This is when I first started watching uh, wrestling, but this is my, this is gonna be my favorite Randy Orton ever because um, I feel like he's more improved uh, since then, and uh, I like. And not to mention, uh, when he was when he was in the in the tag team division with Matt Riddle, I feel like that was the worst uh, gimmick for Randy Orton for for laughing and uh, reacting to other people's comedy skits. Um, no, and so I like this one because he's more serious, just just like how I know him from. Okay, Randy Orton. Here, Randy Orton. He's from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, it's height, six foot five, uh, one point ninety six meters, weight, two hundred fifty pounds. 
or 113.4 kilograms. That's not true. When the, when they announced Randy Orton for he he weighs like 200 and um like 230 pounds. So he's so skinny. How is that even possible? It says right here career highlights. WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, and United States Champion. Whether you call him the Viper, the Apex Predator, or the Legend Killer, you cannot complete his name without R K O. All right. All right. So let's get this bad boy out of the box, and uh, I'll. And let's go, let's move on from here. Alright, and I got him out of the box. And it, it also come it also came with the, this adjustable hands. But yo, this is gonna be this is actually one of my Dude, I swear. This is this is the Randy Orton that I know for the past uh, 12 years. And as you can see, it came with this uh, adjustable um hoodie but i wish i could have this app i wish i wish i could have th th these apps um, let's see let's see let's see let's see one two three four five six damn i wish i could have these apps but one maybe one day i'll have these apps look at look at these look at his thighs damn no is he or, or does he work out or yo comment down below um if you guys know somebody uh, in in a workout program i can have these thighs or or is randy Orton does he actually work out or or, do, or is he on steroids just like any other wwe superstar let's let's just be honest right here okay so let's the the knee pads right here that says rko these are his boots Let's see, and then in, in, in his back of the hoodie says RKO. You know what? That brings me an idea. Since I got the Batista, um, the Batista action figure in my drawer right now. At this point, as you can, I, I, if you can hear some voice, it came with the World Heavyweight Championship. And if you guys, so let's, so if you guys remember. Randy Orton was the first uh, ever to become WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So this is when uh, when they combined the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship combined together. So if you guys remember this belt from the previous um, action figure unboxing with Batista, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Put this on. Let's see how it looks like. Yo, yo. Yo, just like old times, baby. Just like old times. Just like old times. All right, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for, for watching. Smash the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell button on. And just like what Randy Orton and the WWE Universe always say, I'll be back with more videos. Subscribe to this channel or I'm going to RKO every son of a bitch I see.